So I got another little DDWRT tip for you here today. Um, if you've ever wanted to control access to certain websites, services, or other things for your children or employees or family or whoever you may want to control access for, log into your router and go to the access restrictions tab. Now this page has been a little cryptic to me in the past so I never messed with it but recently I've come to understand how it works. So you have 10 policies here that you can select so as you make rules for certain times of the day or certain services that you want blocked you will use up the policies you know fill them up um, so since I don't have any set up I'll change this to enable and then we put a policy name for example we could put like P2P if we wanted to catch peer-to-peer -peer stuff or World of Warcraft you know you name it whatever you want like um, games or instant messengers or something so whoops let's just say games let's say that uh, you want to stop your kids from playing games until they've got their schoolwork finished so days you can set this to certain days so like Monday Tuesday you know week weekdays block them on the weekdays um, from let's say 7 a.m. to like 8 p.m. or so. That way, the only time they've got to play, you know, they've they get home from school, they've got time where they're not going to be able to use or play their games. So you can check this one box down here and block services, which will catch the peer to peer. If you wanted to prevent people from using BitTorrent or you know WinMX, uh, Kazaa, LimeWire, BearShare, any any of those various softwares that are out there um, or you can select them one at a time so like we can go down through and say um, we want to have Counter-Strike Source and uh, let's see what other games? Half-Life 2 just kinda look down through there's so many different services you can block Quake, Quake 2, no, our, let's say our kids don't play them, um, but World of Warcraft, oh yeah, they sure play that. And um, another thing you'll have to do, I forgot to mention, is edit your list of clients. So, that popped onto my other screen. Um, this, you can filter by Mac, so you can have certain machines that are filtered. You can do it by IP, which you could tie in with my video I did a little while ago about static IPs on the um, router side or you can do an IP range you could cover every machine on your network from you know 192.168.1.1.192.168.1.255 will cover everything then apply those settings when you're done and you've got block services now let's say also you know you want to block YouTube keep your kids from goofing off, you know, watching all my videos and stuff, learning how to undo this stuff. Block that. It'll block it during these same times. Or how about game FAQs? Calm. Calm. Can't spell today. You can block those things. You could also block games based on keyword. Games. Man, I'm telling you, I can't spell. Games. You know, you can do block anything you want based on the protocol, the URL, or by keyword, and change the days, whatever, and hit apply settings, and that'll filter it. Now the other thing you can do is just hit deny up here, and it will just completely deny access to everything on the internet during these times. So you have the choice of either filtering or just blocking internet access altogether. So, however you want to do that is up to you, but I hope this proves helpful for some of you out there. So, thanks for watching.